Two things I want to know from you. I want to know it from you. Makes me think of, is it G.I. Joe? What's the one where the, from you? Or is it Smokey the Bear? I'm th maybe I'm thinking of Smokey, only you can prevent forest fires. Also, I guess Uncle Sam, like I want you. I wonder if G.I. Joe had that as well. Just like pointing at the camera. Ew. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Devin from Devin Talk to the. Hey guys, I'm Devin, your friendly neighborhood board gamer, and this is Devin Talks Tabletop, the channel where the games are made up and what I say doesn't matter. And as I mentioned already, I have some questions for you. Really only two questions, not going to be that long. I say that all the time, but then I talk a lot longer than I would have otherwise. My two questions are this. If I did a vlog, would you watch it? What would you want to be in that vlog if you would watch it? If the vlog was a part of the series or a part of the channel and was just a playlist on the channel, would that be okay? Would that bother you that that content in time of production and other stuff took away from content about board games? Because I think that personality-driven content, if you are aware of the wider YouTube space, is very accessible, helpful for growth, and also just sometimes more engaging than the pure grind of board game content. So I'm curious about that. If I had a vlog, and it would it would be about either my you know my content creation, board gaming, just stuff in general. I mean, it would reflect my life and also what I'm doing board game industry wise. Is that something that you would watch? Let me know. Give me your thoughts. Give me con comments about what would make it appealing to you. If it's already appealing to you, what would be the things that you'd want to see in it? Or if it's not appealing to you, why? And which that, that, that sounded accusatory. That's not how I meant it. Just like what, why wouldn't that be something you'd in, it'd be interested in? And if it lived on the channel and you didn't watch it, would it bother you that it lived on the channel even if you didn't watch it? Yeah. So if I vlogged, would you like it? Number two. And this is kind of just a different format, similar function. If I had a podcast, would you listen to it? And this would not necessarily be a pure board game podcast. It would be board game and board game adjacent. It's, it's going to be whatever I'm thinking of talking about. And Allison from Kids Planning had a good name because this channel is Devon Talks Tabletop. What if the podcast was just Devon Talks? Pretty self-explanatory. I'm talking and it's podcast. But I kind of like the synergy it has between that and the name of the channel. Yeah. Also, maybe a third question here. I'm interested what you know about what we I'm interested to know what you would think about podcasts. I'm interested to know what you would think about vlogs. Also, what would you think? I had a thought. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I was thinking about something else. Podcast blog. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thumbnails and channel art. So I like the orange, but someone did mention that the orange with the black on it is very aggressive, and I kind of agree with it. I would like to get to the point where my thumbnails are similar to either Board Game Co. or Jesse's or, you know, Quackloaf's in terms of that they have a high-resolution image that's related to what's in the actual video, and then they have background and foreground text that gives you the title. I want to get to the point where that works because I think that that's more, at least for me, if I'm a viewer on YouTube, I think that is more visually noticeable and visually less intense on your face, on your eyeball faces. So let me know. I'm currently, I'm trying to, there's a guy who does board game. I mean, I, he's an artist. I'm assuming he does stuff outside of board games. But he has been doing artwork of board game industry people's faces with some nice, cool graphical styling rather than it being kind of like a flat image. It's, you know, it's much more of like nuanced colors and very vibrant. I've been thinking about having that be my channel logo because that would be my face, which is distinctive. My face is not necessarily majorly distinctive. I was saying the visual of my face would be distinctive instead of the much more smaller graphic that I have right now condensed down. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think visually about the appeal of what I have right now versus what you would maybe prefer and the ideas I've had. Throw it at me. Hit me up. That's all I've got right now. I need to do a playlist where it's like updates or questions because it, none of these really fit into the larger categories of the game series that I've got going on, which I'm going to film at some point, I promise. Anywho, ta-ta.